To know how to solve for the fixed vector, you first have to understand the principle behind it. Because the fixed vector is what the initial vector approaches over many multiplications by the transition matrix, it makes sense that after a very large number of generations, multiplying the vector by the transition matrix will not have an observable effect on the vector. So given the fixed vector v1, v2, multiplying this by this transition matrix, will result in the same fixed vector. Now we solve for v1 and v2. This is done by multiplying the matrices out by hand to get the equations 0.2 v1 plus 0.5 v2 equals v1, following the rules of matrix multiplication, and 0.8 v1 plus 0.5 v2 equals v2. Simplifying, we get negative 0.8 v1 plus 0.5 v2 equals 0, and 0.8 v1 minus 0.5 v2 equals 0. Notice now that we have two of the same equation. Whenever you follow this process to solve for the fixed vector, you will always have a repeated equation. You'll need to discard one of them, but then you'll have less equations and variables. So in order to solve the system of equations, you'll need another equation. We look then to one of the basic rules of transition matrices for this, and that is all entries in any row of any transition matrix, such as this one, have to add up to 1. So now we have negative 0.8 v1 plus 0.5 v2 equals 0, and also v1 plus v2 equals 1. Instead of using substitution to solve this, we will use the Gauss-Jordan elimination method just to get into the habit of using Gauss-Jordan because when you encounter problems with more variables, using substitution will become more and more tedious. So now we put the coefficients and constants into an augmented matrix, like so. And use the calculator to find the reduced echelon form. The resultant entries in the rightmost column are what v1 and v2 equal. If the column had three entries, they would correspond to values of v1, v2, and v3 down here. You would write the answer like this. And this just means that over time, with many multiplications of the by the transition matrix, this is what your initial distribution will approach. Lastly, note that fixed vectors only exist for regular Markov chains.